And so what am I doing? I'm raising my head just a little bit, looking down at her a little, and then I'm pushing back with the energy from my chest rather than receiving. And, I, and, I, and I'm almost calling her out. So welcome to this video. This is the second video in the series on um, how subtleties ruin attraction. And uh, I've got the beautiful Aria with me today. Hello. And she's gonna be helping me take a look at cockiness today. The last video was on neediness and how guys use neediness to uh, try to manipulate women into giving them validation. And I played with some of the eye contact that guys use and the feelings and the emotions guys use to try to pull uh, that validation out of women. And uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Make sure to check that video out. Now, with that said, in this video, we're going to take a look at cockiness. Cockiness is not bad in and of itself. It can work. Some girls yeah, really like course. a slightly cocky guy and even a, a lot of a, a heavily cocky guy. But uh, what we're going to look at is when cockiness kind of goes wrong or when it pushes a girl back or how it could push a girl back. If a woman is very open and very sweet, she doesn't like cockiness and you come in cocky, you're gonna blow her out. If she's a little insecure, she thinks you're, maybe you're a good looking guy and you come in too cocky because that, you know, if you're the better looking you are, the less cocky you probably wanna be, then uh, you can blow a girl out. And, um, and what happens is as a guy comes in too cocky, it can be a little too much sometimes and she's just like out of there. And that's basically what happens. So let's take a look at that now. now to understand this, um, let's just say I'm, I'm, again, like in the first video, we need a baseline. So the baseline is just me enjoying Aria. And let's say I'm walking across the room, off camera, on camera, and I walk over to her and I'm just like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Hi. And this is my baseline. See, she grabbed my hand right away. There's, that's a little bit of familiarity. She might not do that. She might do that in real life. You know, some girls do. Some girls are pretty Yeah, comfortable. it depends on And uh, so I would say hi and we would have a nice chat. Why? Because I didn't bring any cockiness. I just brought openness. My heart's open. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I look at her right now, you can feel this warmth if you really pay attention to this connection. Now I'm going to start to slowly move into a more cocky energy as I'm standing here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> how you doing? And okay. see how she, see, she's doing this. She's almost <laughs> matching me. Yeah. Can you feel how she raised her head too? And so what am I doing? I'm raising my head just a little bit, looking down at her a little, and then I'm pushing back with the energy from my chest rather than receiving. And, I, and I, I'm almost calling her out. I'm saying, what's up? It's kind of like, like, have you ever seen gang members when they walk down the street? Hey, what's up? You know, they overdo it. With a girl, you can do it just a little bit. You can be like, hey, what's up? And right there is a little push. Yeah. And she feels it. And, and what's your response to guys that do that? Um, it depends of a lot of stuff, but um, usually I tend to be more cautious to how I speak with a guy. I and I'm staying in the energy, by the way. Yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> um, yeah, usually my tendency would be like to back a bit off to see like exactly what I said, to see the intentions. Do you, do you ever do you ever flirt with or play with a guy that's doing this and like give him, a, give him if, a little shit back? If it doesn't come way too aggressive, yeah, yeah, definitely. I will so, like enter the play. <laughs> so if a guy walks up and he's like, hey, you look like trouble. What's your name? I don't want to tell you. Oh, you're going to play difficult, huh? Yeah. I like that. Play difficult. Come on, come on. You can do it. Yeah, I'll play difficult and just leave. Yeah, that's it. You're still here. Yeah, I know. Do you want me to actually leave? <laughs> <laughs> so do you see what happens there? Do you see how it's like a push against her? And what happens is some girls actually like that. And if you get a girl that likes that, she's gonna. What? How's she gonna be? Hey, what's up? You look like trouble. I'm gonna just like stay here. <laughs> it's gonna. We're gonna have a little bit of a duel for a bit. And then what happens is if a guy's smart. At a certain point, when the duel, when she, when you've earned her respect, because you've dueled well, then you can drop it and be like, "Hey, what's up?" And you can actually start to connect, and it actually yeah, drops this in feels nicely. Nice. Yeah. Okay, but if you're overly cocky, then it just doesn't work. Like if you don't ever drop it, you keep it up. You're like, "Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's your name?" Like this. This is almost overly aggressive, and it feels. How does this feel to you? Not yeah. repelling, but something in that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one for my brother from like years ago, many years ago. He's he's married now with kids and everything. But we're walking down Newport Beach, and he sees this girl, and I, you know, he had never seen him with women before because I didn't grow up with him. He grew up with a different mom, and he, 
he walks up to her. Love you, brother, by the way. If you see this, he walks up to her and goes, hey, you think I'm good looking? <laughs> you like this? Hey, let's go. Let's go get a drink. Come on. <laughs> come on. What? And, and he literally did. And she went really? with him for a little bit. And then when he went to go get the drink, she ran away. So <laughs> I love you again if you see this. But uh, but I think it was hilarious. So <laughs> so he's a, he's part Italian. So he's, he's a cool dude. So that's literally cockiness in a nutshell. Um, anything you want to add to that? Um, it's very sexy when guys do this, but as you said, with a limit. When they overdo it, it's like yeah, it's almost really like, like it's it. better when you're just playing with it. If you yes. if they really think you are cocky, that's just who you are. You don't know better. That's a problem. Yeah. Okay. Now to get out of it, notice the head comes back. Usually, most cases, the cockiness is here. To get out of it, you lower the head a little bit and then you got to relax in the chest and let your heart open. You got to actually literally get a little more vulnerable. You got to let her see you having some more emotion. And then, and then the same lines, you look like trouble, feel very different. Yeah, it's definitely. Old. It's playful yeah. and cocky a bit, but like still I feel this warmth. Yeah. So like, yeah, this openness. Because with my eyes, I'm saying I like you. And uh, let me see, I want to see one more thing. This is, we're going to try this on camera. I didn't think about trying this. So we're going to try it right now. And I'm looking at you, and I'm going to try to get cocky without raising my head. So you look like trouble. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, how does that feel? I kind of like it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, there's a, because I'm looking into you. There's a little yeah, cocky. Yeah. So it kind of works. Okay. So we, yeah. got, we got one that might work a little bit. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to invite you guys to play with that a little bit. And notice the subtleties in this stuff, the littlest changes in, in energy and where you're feeling in your body have an effect on the human being in front of you. So again, if you're working online, saying the right words, that's really not the problem. There is no right words. It's who you're being when you talk to her. And that's what it really boils down to. Matter of fact, I could say almost anything, um, super califragilistic expialidocious, <laughs> and it can still work. Yep. Okay. Yeah, true. Because because what I'm conveying when I talk to her is way more important than the words. Okay. With that said, I want to say this really concludes the the portion on cockiness for this week. Did, is there anything else I know I already asked you? But anything else you want to add as I close yeah. it out? Yeah. And make sure to check out next week's video. It's going to be the last in the series on uh, being physically creepy, which is not one I'm looking forward to doing because it makes girls really uncomfortable. I had to, I was sitting over there practicing it earlier saying, how can I feel creepy? So make sure to check that one out. And uh, because if I'm going to go to the trouble of doing this and creeping a girl out, then you have to watch it. Okay. So with that said, make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to like the video if you liked it and make sure to comment. Your comments are very important to us. We answer all your comments and make sure to put any video suggestions in there too because we get a lot of suggestions from those comments. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.